The Book of Concord or Concordia often, Lutheran Confessions is appended to or substituted for the title 1580 is the historic doctrinal standard of the Lutheran Church, consisting of ten creedal documents recognized as authoritative in Lutheranism since the 16th century. They are also known as the Symbolical Books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. The Book of Concord was published in German on June 25, 1580, in Dresden, the 50th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession to Emperor Charles V at the Diet of Augsburg. The authoritative Latin edition was published in 1584 in Leipzig. Those who accept it as their doctrinal standard recognize it to be a faithful exposition of the Bible. The Holy Scriptures are set forth in the Book of Concord to be the sole, divine source and norm of all Christian doctrine. Topic. Origin and arrangement Topic. The Book of Concord was compiled by a group of theologians led by Jakob Andrea and Martin Chemnitz at the behest of their rulers, who desired an end to the religious controversies in their territories that arose among Lutherans after the death of Martin Luther in 1546. It was intended to replace German territorial collections of doctrinal statements, known as corpora doctrinae bodies of doctrine like the Corpus Doctrinae Philippicum or Misnicum. This aim is reflected by the compilers not calling it a corpus doctrinae although it technically is one. The list of writings predating the formula of Concord that would be included in the Book of Concord are listed and described in the Rule and Norm section of the formula, following the preface written by Andrea and Chemnitz the three ecumenical creeds were placed at the beginning in order to show the identity of Lutheran teaching with that of the ancient Christian Church. These creeds, the Apostles, Creed, Nicene Creed, and Athanasian Creed, were formulated before the East-West Schism of 1054, but the Nicene Creed is the Western version containing the Filioque. The other documents come from the earliest years of the Lutheran Reformation 1529 they are the Augsburg Confession, the Apology of the Augsburg Confession, both by Philip Melanchthon, the small and large catechisms of Martin Luther, his small called articles, Melanchthon's treatise on the power and primacy of the Pope, and the Formula of Concord, which was composed shortly before the publishing of the Book of Concord and intended for the same purpose, the pacification and unification of the growing Lutheran movement. The preface of the Book of Concord was considered to be the preface of the Formula of Concord as well. The Augsburg Confession has singular importance as the unanimous consensus and exposition of our Christian faith, particularly against the false worship, idolatry, and superstition of the papacy and against other sects, and as the symbol of our time, the first and unaltered Augsburg Confession, which was delivered to Emperor Charles V at Augsburg during the Great Diet in the year 1530. A recent book on Lutheranism asserts, To this day, the Augsburg Confession, remains the basic definition of what it means to be a Lutheran. The Apology, the small called Articles, the Treatise, and the Formula of Concord explain, defend, or serve as addenda to the Augsburg Confession. Topic. Contents Topic. Preface 1579. The Three Ecumenical Creeds The Apostles' Creed the Nicene Creed The Athanasian Creed The Augsburg Confession of 1530 The Apology of the Augsburg Confession 1531 The Small Called Articles of Martin Luther 1537 Treatise on the Power and Primacy of the Pope 1537 The Small Catechism of Martin Luther 1529 Luther's Marriage Booklet 1529 and Baptism Booklet 1526 were included as part of the Small Catechism in a few of the 1580 editions of the German Book of Concord. The Large Catechism of Martin Luther 1529. Epitome of the Formula of Concord 1577. The Solid or Thorough Declaration of the Formula of Concord 1577. The Catalogue of Testimonies was added as an appendix in most of the 1580 editions. Topic. Context in Christendom Topic. The simple Latin title of the Book of Concord, Concordia, Latin for, and agreeing together, is fitting for the character of its contents, Christian statements of faith setting forth what is believed, taught, and confessed by the confessors. 
with one heart and voice. This follows St. Paul's directive, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. 1 Cor. 110 NKJV. The creeds and confessions that constitute the Book of Concord are not the private writings of their various authors. In Asmic, however, as they are in complete agreement with Holy Scripture, and in this respect differ from all other particular symbols i.e., denominational creeds and creedal statements, the Lutheran confessions are truly ecumenical and Catholic in character. They contain the truths believed universally by true Christians everywhere, explicitly by all consistent Christians, implicitly even by inconsistent and erring Christians. Christian truth, being one and the same the world over is none other than that which is found in the Lutheran confessions. Topic. Contemporary subscription Topic. To this day the Book of Concord is doctrinally normative among traditional and conservative Lutheran churches, which require their pastors and other rostered church workers to pledge themselves unconditionally to the Book of Concord. They often identify themselves as confessional Lutherans. They consider the Book of Concord the norma normata Latin, the normed norm in relation to the Bible, which they consider the Norma Normans Latin, the norming norm, i.e. the only source of Christian doctrine God's authoritative word. In this view the Book of Concord, on the topics that it addresses, is what the Church authoritatively understands God's authoritative word to say. This is also called a quia. Because, subscription to the Lutheran confessions, i.e. one subscribes because the Book of Concord is a faithful exposition of the Scriptures. It implies that the subscriber has examined the Lutheran confessions in the light of the scriptures in order to arrive at this position, which in the subscriber's view does not require the disclaimer implied in a quatiness, insofar as subscription. One who subscribes the Lutheran confessions quatiness, insofar as they are a faithful exposition of the scriptures, believes that there might be contradictions of the scriptures in them. In some cases this is the manner of subscription of some other Lutheran churches, which regard the Book of Concord as an important witness and guide to the historical teachings of the Lutheran Church although not necessarily doctrinally binding. <laughs> English translations English translations of individual documents of the Book of Concord, notably the Augsburg Confession, were available since the 16th century. The first complete English translation of the Book of Concord was the 1851 Henkel edition followed by a second edition in 1854. These volumes included historical introductions. Henry E. Jacobs and others published the next English version in 1882 with a revised People's Edition in 1911. The 1882 edition was accompanied by a companion volume that contained historical introductions and English translations of other documents illustrative of the history of the Book of Concord. The third complete English translation was published in 1921 as a jubilee observance of the 400th anniversary of the Reformation 1917, along with the German and Latin texts as the Concordia Triglotta, the symbolical books of the Ev. Lutheran Church, German-Latin English edited by Friedrich Benta. This edition introduced the practice of inserting in square brackets the translations of variant readings of either the Latin translation of the German or the German translation of the Latin text. A smaller edition with just the English text was also published. The differences of the German translation of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession from the original Latin text were made apparent by Benta's insertion within square brackets of the variant readings of his English translation of the German text into the main body of his translation of the original Latin text. Justus Jonas, who had originally translated the Apology from Latin into German, made use of both the quarto and the octavo editions. The other reason for the differences is the looseness of the Jonas translation that is more like a paraphrase than a translation, with the appearance of the 1930 Beckettnisschriften critical text a new English version was deemed desirable. This was begun but left unfinished by John C. Matz, who died in 1948. In 1959, the Tappert edition was produced, with Theodore G. Tappert as general editor and translator and with Yaroslav Pelikan, Robert H. Fisher, and Arthur Carl Peepcorn as additional translators. This edition discontinued the practice of inserting translations of variant readings in square brackets. 
However, it began the practice of providing the translations of both the German and Latin texts of the Augsburg Confession since both texts of that confession are considered authoritative. The manner of presentation was the translation of the German text on the top of the page, that of the Latin on the bottom. An extensive revision of the Tappert edition was published in 2000, translated and edited by Robert Kolb and Timothy J. Wengert. As with the Tappert edition, the Kolb Wengert edition was translated by scholars from two different Lutheran denominations Kolb of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod and Wengert of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. This edition provided the translations of both German and Latin texts of the Augsburg Confession on alternating pages. The translation team also included Eric Gritsch, Charles Arendt, William Russell, James Schaff, and Jane Stroll. The Kolb Wengert edition exhibits one of the difficulties in the translation of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession. Two editions of the Apology were published in 1531, namely, the Quarto edition and the Octavo edition, which are so designated based on the format in which they were printed. The Quarto edition was printed with the first publication of the Augsburg Confession in April or May 1531, hence, the name Adidio Princeps first edition. The Octavo edition followed in September, 1531. The Kolb Wengert translation of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession uses the later Octavo edition text of 1531 rather than the earlier Quarto edition text of 1531, with the variant readings of the Quarto edition appearing in italics. The Tappert edition had used the Quarto edition as the basis of its translation. The editors and translators of the Kolb Wengert edition decided to use the Octavo edition as the main source for their translation because they believed the Octavo edition was the official text of the Apology. This is the position of the German scholar Christian Peters, who claimed the Quarto edition was merely a stage on the way to a definitive text, i.e., the Octavo edition. The Octavo edition Latin text was utilized in a private Latin edition of the Book of Concord in 1580. Scholars question whether or not this Octavo edition text can be considered the text approved by the Lutheran Church in the 16th century. The official 1584 Latin Book of Concord has the Quarto edition text as its text of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession. Another notable feature of the Kolb Wengert edition is the setting off of the Filioque of the Nicene Creed in square brackets. The most recent English version of the Book of Concord was published in 2005 to commemorate the 425th anniversary of its publication and the 475th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession. Entitled Concordia, the Lutheran Confessions, a reader's edition of the Book of Concord, it is a revision of the English text of the Concordia Triglotta and was edited by Paul T. McCain, Edward A. Engelbricht, Robert C. Baker, and Jean E. Veith. A second edition followed in 2006. Topic editions available topic Die Beckenischriften der Evangelisch Lutherischen Kirche. Herauskijben in Gedenkjahr der Augsburgischen Confession 1930. 12th edition. Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht, 1998. ISBN 978 3 525 52101 4. Critical text of the original German and Latin Book of Concord, The Book of Concord, The Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Theodore G. Tappert, translator and editor. Philadelphia, Fortress Press, 1959. ISBN 0 8006 0825 9. First English translation of the Book of Concord texts as published in Die Beckenneschriften, called Tappert or the Tappert edition for short. The Book of Concord, The Confessions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Robert Kolb and Timothy J. Wengert, editors. Minneapolis, Augsburg Fortress Press, 2000. ISBN 0 8006 2740 7. Second English translation of the Book of Concord texts as published in Die Beckenneschriften. Concordia, The Lutheran Confessions, a reader's edition of the Book of Concord. Paul Timothy McCain, General Editor, Second Edition. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2006. ISBN 0 7586 1343 1. A modern language version of the English text of Concordia Triglotta, St. Louis, CPH, 1921, interspersed with explanatory notes. Concordia Triglotta, the symbolical books of the EV. Lutheran Church, German Latin English. F. Benta, editor. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1921. This trilingual version has recently been reprinted by Concordia Publishing House. Topic. References Topic.
Topic: Bibliography. Topic: Benta, Friedrich. Historical Introductions to the Symbolical Books of the Evangelical Lutheran Church, 1921. New reprint edition. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1995. ISBN 0-570-03262-8. Cook, Martin L. The Open Circle, Confessional Method in Theology. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Fortress Press, 1991. XIV, 130 p. NB, discusses the place of confessionalism in Lutheranism and in other Protestant thought. ISBN 0-8006-2482-3. Fagerberg, Holston. A New Look at the Lutheran Confessions, 1529 to 1537. Translated by Jean Lund. Paperback edition. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1988. ISBN 0-570-04499-5. Forel, George W. The Augsburg Confession: A Contemporary Commentary. Minneapolis, Augsburg Publishing House, 1968. Lock 6825798. Formula of Concord, The Quadricentennial Essays. The 16th Century Journal 8, 1977, No. 4. ISSN 0361-0160. Grain, Leaf. The Augsburg Confession, a Commentary. Translated by John H. Rasmussen. Minneapolis, Augsburg Publishing House, 1986. ISBN 0-8066-2252-0 Kolb, Robert and Charles P. Arend. The Genius of Luther's Theology, A Wittenberg Way of Thinking for the Contemporary Church. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Baker Academic, 2008. ISBN 978-0-8010-3180-9 Kolb, Robert and James A. Nestingen, eds. Sources and Contexts of the Book of Concord. Minneapolis, Fortress Press, 2001. ISBN 0-8006-3290-7. Robert Kolb, Die Konkordenformel. Eine Einführung in IHRE Geschichte und Theologie, Obersler Heft Ganzingsband 8, Edition Ruprecht, Göttingen 2011, ISBN 978-3-7675-7145-7. Prius, Jacob A. O. The Second Martin, The Life and Theology of Martin Chemnitz. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2004. Prius, Robert D. and Wilbert H. Rosen, eds. A Contemporary Look at the Formula of Concord. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1978. ISBN 0-570-03271-7. Prius, Robert D. Getting into the Theology of Concord. Reprint. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2004. Prius, Robert D. Theology of Post-Reformation Lutheranism, Volume 1 St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1972. ISBN 0-570-04545-2. R.E.U., Johann Michael. The Augsburg Confession. Reprint. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 1995. Schlink, Edmund. Theology of the Lutheran Confessions. Translated by P. Koenig and H. Buman. Philadelphia, Fortress Press, 1961. Reprint, St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, 2004. Schmauk, Theodore. The Confessional Principle and the Confessions of the Lutheran Church. Translated by C. Theodore Benz. St. Louis, Concordia Publishing House, Reprint 2005. The 16th Century Journal 11, June 25, 1980, number 3 to 450 th Anniversary Augsburg Confession. ISSN 0361-0160. Wengert, Timothy J. A. Formula for Parish Practice, Using the Formula of Concord in Congregations. Grand Rapids, Eerdmans Publishing, 2006. ISBN 0-8028-3026-9. Ziegler, Roland F. The New Translation of the Book of Concord, Closing the Barn Door After. Concordia Theological Quarterly 66, April 2002, 2-145-165, available online, 1. Topic. External links Topic. Article on Lutheran Confessions in the Christian Cyclopedia 
Lutheran Scholarly and Pastoral Essays on the Lutheran Confessions from the Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary Library Why Bible-believing Lutherans subscribe to the Book of Concord classic example of a quia perspective Concordia Triglotta, by Theodore Gravener from the October 1921 Theological Monthly. Concord, Book of Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed., 1911. English versions online 1851 Henkel Book of Concord First Edition 1854 Henkel Book of Concord Second Edition 1911 Jacobs' People's Edition Book of Concord 1921 Benta Concordia Triglotta English Text 1921 Benta Concordia Triglotta PDF 1959 Tappert Book of Concord Google Books 2000 Kolb Wengert Book of Concord Google Books The Christian Book of Concord Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox <laughs>